There is a hidden gem in the backyard of Toronto and it's called the Badlands. 430 million years ago, a large shallow sea filled an area now inhabited by the Great Lakes called the Michigan Basin. The climate was tropical and the shallow sea was teeming with life, yet plants and animals had not yet been established on land. Southeast of the Michigan Basin, a mountain range was rising from the collision of the North American and European plates. The rocks of these mountains were rich in iron and rivers flowing down the mountains picked up the red, iron-rich sediment and transported it to sea. When the fast-moving rivers reached the calm sea, the sediment was deposited creating a mighty delta. In time, the sea occupying the Michigan Basin deepened and other sediments, many containing the shells of sea creatures, were deposited on top of the red delta mud. Compaction of this mud formed the Queenston Shale. Overlying sediment were compressed into the shale, limestone and dolostone that make up the rest of the Niagara Escarpment. 250 million years ago, the sea disappeared and a long period of erosion began. The Badlands are part of the Niagara Escarpment. In the 1900s, the land was cleared for farming. Removal of vegetation and overgrazing by livestock exposed the shale to the elements. Although the farming and grazing discontinued in the 1930s, the shale has continued to erode, causing the Badlands to increase in size each year. This video brought to you by CottageRelief.com. Cottage Relief, your vacation retreat.